What's up guys and welcome back to another EVE Online video. Today we are running the Angel Epic Arc uh, mission series called the Angel Sound uh, in an effort to improve our standings with the uh, Angel Cartel um, ahead of the EVE Havoc expansion on November 14th. Um, yeah, when the, the re main reason for doing this, of course, is um, when the expansion comes out and we can enlist with different pirate factions and take part in um, ins insurgencies, we're going to need the relevant standing to be able to do so. I think the minimum standing is minus two uh, to be able to enlist with either the Greasters or the Angels on the 14th. Um, but my let's have a quick look at my standings. I think it's minus two that you need. Uh, but you can see here, currently at minus 6 um, in total, but like a base standing of minus 8. And then Garistas, of course, it's even lower, minus 9. Um, so got a bit of work to do to uh, to fix these and get them up to minus 2 so that I can enlist and take part in that content if I want to. Um, and uh, it shouldn't be too difficult to do because at the moment, um, during this period up to the November 14th, um, CCP have adjusted it so that the Garistas and Angel Epic Arcs uh, produce, I think it's double the standings boost as you go along, um, which is awesome. Um, and also they've, uh, in ordinary times, the you can only complete these Epic Arcs once every, I think it's three months. Um, whereas I believe they've reduced it now down to two weeks uh, in the run up to this event. It will go back up to three months um, after the 14th, but for now it's just two weeks. So I'm gonna run it once now, uh, solo, and check it out and see see what it's uh, see what it's like. And then um, uh, probably run it again with some of my court mates in, in two weeks time, just before, the, just before the 14th. So that's a quick summary of, of what we're doing. Um, what ship and are we in this is a um, just a thrasher you can get all the information about the uh, epic arcs on uh, eve university's website um excuse the blur but um so you know you just head over to eve eve uni wiki and um look up angel sound and they've got a couple of um uh, cheap uh, easy to fly fits down here in a thrasher so i thought i would give one of these a go you can fly a much better ship. Um, the sites are restricted to um, T2 frigates or T3 destroyers as the sort of the highest tech level. So you know you could be running down around in there in a confessor and just blitz everything. Um, or there's interceptors and things to be able to break um, gate camps and that kind of stuff. But I thought I'd go with one of um, their recommended fits. Um, the art, and I've gone with the passive tank um, artillery. Uh, this is alpha friendly, the one on their site, so give it a go. Um, I've tech would the weapon system and the rigs um, just for my just because of my skills, um, but the whole fit still only costs 30 million, even with the tech two rigs and things. So head over head over to Eve Uni to um, to go and check that out. I'm I'm not going to link the fit um, because I don't want to take credit for it as it as it's come from come from theirs. And um, you can also obviously learn all about the epic arc and, and follow the chapters and things on there. Uh, which I'll be doing just gently in the background if I get a bit confused as to how to complete the mission. I will be referring to um, Eve Uni to to do that. So yeah, uh, I guess I'll just really quickly show the fit but not link it just so that you can uh, see. Uh, we've gone Tech 2 weapon systems, um, the light artillery cannons and Tech 2 rigs. Which just it only gives us 34 HP a second um, regen. Uh, oh, and I did. I went with their power diagnos diagnostic system for the increased regen over uh, for the sake of um, a little bit of uh, alpha tank. Uh, the alternative that they suggest is a damage control, but I went with the power diagnostic system instead. All right, and then the other question: How do you get started? You got your ship. You've got. You know, you want to do it. You've got to go fix your standings. How do you get started? If you open up the agency window. Um, on the first tab you're on agents and missions and there you've got a button called epic arcs over here and then in this list is all the epic arcs that you can go and run and are available to you at the moment and where you get started so for example I've got enough standing to go and run the Kaldari one um, if I wanted to uh, but I don't have enough standing for the, any of the others they're unavailable and 
there's always of course the Sisters of Eve which I have completed in the past but I could go and do again that's a long one 52 missions the angel one only 11 missions so I'm hoping we can get it all done in one session might be quite a long video but um, I want to try and get it all in one go um, so you can come and go from the video for each mission and just see how see how we get on um, but basically you can start this from three different agents three different locations uh, but I think this system recommends the one that is best suited for your standings and so you can get started basically so um, I've been recommended to go and visit this agent who is um, a member of the Amar Navy and I have decent standing with Amar which is why that's been recommended um, you can one of them is the Minmitar um, a Minmitar agent so if you've got good standing with Minmitar then you can go get started um, and of course one of them is the Angel uh, with the Angel Cartel uh, but if you're fixing your standings with the Angel Cartel, it's very unlikely you're going to have good enough standings to go and get started with them. So they list the system they're in and everything, and you can you know you can set destination. Um, if I start a conversation remotely, it will say come come see me. Uh, so yeah, that's how you get started basically. Other things to remember before we crack on: uh, the whole thing is done in Nullsec. This first agent is in in low sec, but she sends you straight down to Curse. Uh, Nalsec in Angel's Territory. The whole thing is done down there. There will be gate camps, especially during this season. Um, people know that there's going to be a lot more traffic running these the epic arcs than normal. So there are gate camps, there are people hunting these guys. Um, I was going to say my hope is that maybe in a cheap ship people won't bother shooting or chasing you, but to be honest, if they're just camping there's nothing else for them to do. They don't lose anything by shooting you, so we will get shot. Um, I haven't packed a travel fit, which is a which is a a mistake. But I uh, re I got down to Sandaya uh, before I realised that I'd forgotten to pick up the travel fit in uh, in Gita. So I don't want to go back now. Uh, we'll just have a go, and if it doesn't work out, then I can come back in two weeks. Um, buy a travel fit. What do we mean? Uh, basically. Um, having things like warp core stabilizers you can fit in the low sec slots, um, nanofiber internal structures to, for a line time, uh, that kind of stuff. Maybe even an interdiction nullifier in, in the high slot. That could be good. Uh, I'm unlikely to be able to fit it with this current thing, but I do have a free high slot, so an interdiction nullifier could go in there um, and have it off line. Uh, and every now and again dock up, turn off one of your weapon systems and, and turn back on the interdiction nullifier. All good options of course, uh, which I haven't got. So let's go get started. Um, it is 11.16 and we'll see how long this whole thing takes or how long until I die. Um, the agent, the starting agent isn't um, uh, docked. You have to go to the abandoned research station at Sigma 9 and that's where this agent is floating in space I also really enjoy epic arcs for the um, kind of the storyline they build into the missions uh, I quite like the lore behind all the missions but like obviously the epic arcs have a have a much longer storyline uh, so I'll probably read most of the stuff as we go along because it's the first time I've run the Mimitar one. But let's see. So let's start conversation. Mistaken identity. Oh great, another one. Absolutely nothing to do with the cartel. I'm not your connection. You've been played, what address? Oh no. Do we believe her? Maybe if I did have valuable information, it would be reported immediately to my superiors. So, she <laughs> sounds like she doesn't know who we're supposed to go talk to, but we are heading for our mission down to K-Q in Nelsec. Decent little rewards, and you've got six hours to get there to get the, uh, get the first reward. So, let's head down. The first system that we jump into is Nelsec. So once we get into Nalsec, we are going to um, bounce around. We're not going to warp directly from gate to gate, just in case there are other camps. Um, if if you know if they've set camps up, they will 
be placed on the warp paths directly between the main gates so if you can pick a different route to warp um, you might be able to break some of these gate camps as, as we go along of course the first one might be just on the other side of this gate in which case we will crash back and work out what we've got to do a few in, in local no, no camp on this side uh, we are going to a named system, that's weird through this gate here so if we warp for example to uh, this planet and then over to the gate you just want to be off this direct route um, this, n this number of people in the system it's definitely possible they're camping um, so yeah we're going to go to off off this angle because um, normal thing is to sort of place the bubble uh, your uh, your drag bubble sort of a hundred kilometers off the gate to stop uh, people being able to um, land and then crash the gate so if you change the angle Active. you can avoid the bubbles let's see how we get on with this one Macario and a saber, so almost definitely, <laughs> almost definitely straight into a gate camp. To be honest, let's see. Okay, there wasn't here, but you know, if you if you see a saber on D scan, that they're bubbling something, and the Macario can then blap anything that lands in it. This is a busy system. Uh, this is the named one. Okay. And again, we're going to here. Harder to change the angle on this one. Um, so to be honest, maybe our best bet is to warp away in this direction. And then come in from a different angle. There are some systems where it's almost impossible to change the angle. And those are often camped. Um, especially low second null sec. Like you might have a gate that's just randomly like way up here. Not next to anything. So you've got to warp up from like all the system down here and then there'll be a gate so it's really difficult to change that angle to a big level. Um, do remember to descan as often as you can of course. Um, but you'll only get stuff that's in the 14 AU range so gates gate to gate routes are always often more than 14 AU um, but we've got nothing on that gate so we should be okay. With, when you're descanning, um, with the mission sites, if you've got a warp, uh, if you've got to take a warp acceleration gate into a mission site, then it's a dead space area um, where people can only find you by uh, descanning. Sorry, by um, combat probing you down. They won't be able to warp to the site otherwise. Here you go, gate camp on this side. So we are going over here. And we're going to hope we can get away. The daredevil will try and get us. Bubble's gone up. Okay. Time to crash gate. It's just a disrupt. So we're going to crash gate as fast as we can. We've been bumped. Come on. Cool. Oh, now now they've got a scram on. So now we're now we're in trouble. Yeah, now we're just dead. So that started well. First gate camp. Straight away, couldn't get out of it. So we will need the travel fit. <laughs> but here's proof that you do need the travel fit. They've got warp scram on so I can't crash gate. Uh, obviously won't be able to get away from them. Uh, could shoot someone I suppose, but don't really want to.
Alrighty, back to high, back to high sec, and we'll, uh, we'll come back with a travel fit. Okay, so we're back, <clears throat> and with a change of plans. So I went and bought another Thrasher, but um, you know was trying to fit it up for the travel fit, and of course you can't fit an interdiction nullifier on um, a regular destroyer. So I just couldn't figure out how I was going to break that uh, that same gate camp, and it you know it seemed pretty wasteful just to buy the same ship and then go and just die in exactly the same way to the gate camp. Without the nullifier, I wasn't going to get out of the bubble. Um, you know, warp core stabilizer, uh, fine. I, sh I would have been able to activate my Marker warp drive to try and get out of the bubble, but they had a Dramiel uh, who would have just caught me. Um, and web me and stuff, so it would have been a bit 50-50 depending on where I landed in the bubble, I think. Um, so yeah, so decided to go Interceptor. I'm now flying a Crow so that I could fit an Interdiction Nullifier to it. Um, I've gone full travel fit here at the moment um, as we're working our way back down. <laughs> so we'll, let's see if we can skip that um, that same camp. <clears throat> Basically for the travel fit I've gone um, obviously nullifier um, and I've got a cloak for sort of just in case um, could help me get out of the bubble with cloak micro drive or just go find somewhere to cloak up and hide afterwards um, and I have got the low friction nozzle joints which is just quite a good thing anyway helps with the line time and then in the low slots I've gone inertial stabilizers You'll notice an absence of a warp core stabilizer again. Um, this time I chose to go for the sub two second like insta warp um, instead of a warp core stabilizer. So I'm hoping that the ability to insta warp with the nullifier will mean I just don't get caught. Uh, and then of course for the actual mission running itself, um, I've got rockets. Um, rockets with the um, explosive damage and a ballistic control that I'll swap in for one of these which takes the DPS up to about 120 so three quarters of what I was getting in the Thrasher but um, hopefully I'm able to get to the missions. So we are about to arrive back in Sendaya and then we'll tackle Nullsec again and their gate camps and see how we get on. It took me pretty much an hour. I was thinking about this for quite a long time and um, obviously getting back from market and stuff. Uh, so it is now uh, quarter past 10 eve time. So we've got 45 minutes till shut down. Um, and we're effectively, you know, we're going through Sendaya at quarter past 10. So let's uh, consider this the start time of the epic arc and we'll see how we're doing. Uh, yeah, how we're doing. Same technique, by the way, just because I'm in an interceptor doesn't mean I can't be caught by bubbles if I'm not paying attention. So I'm still going to bounce between uh, different celestials to make it um, to make it between gates. This is just to get me out of a bubble um, on the other side of a gate like, like we saw previously. So let's see how we get on. First null set system again. Where are we going? There. So we're going. Yeah. The sub two second line time also just makes this really nice, just for getting around. I've got I've gone 20 jumps in the last I don't know six seven minutes, maybe less. Um. So that's obviously very nice as well. D scan because we're in range. Sabre and Macariel are still here from before. Don't know what they're up to. Like that, in case there's smart bombing or something. I can't actually remember which system it was where I got got. I think it was was it the next one? It was, wasn't it? Warp drive active.
Okay, so it might be this next gate. When we splash through this one, I think was where the camp was before. So this time, let's see how we get on. Obviously, don't panic when you jump through and find a camp. Just you have 30 seconds of of cloak, so just get your bearings, work out what you're going to do. Uh, let them make the first move. If necessary, they might drop a bubble up, and you can see where you are relative to their bubble and things, and then make a plan. Okay, nothing this time. Only a couple people in system, which reduces the likelihood of there being a bubble at the other end, but. Um, We are not gambling on that reduced likelihood, it only takes one person. So maybe it was the next system, I'm trying to remember. And then through the next gate. See if we can finally do the first mission. But you can see they camp the route, right? So they'll they'll prob there's a camp on the route between the Amar starter agent and the the first agent. There's probably another one between the Mimitar starter agent and and the first angel agent. And there will almost definitely be some camps on the actual mission routes as well, uh, because they are obviously they're standard routes. Um, no camp, so one more jump to go before we can get started. So we're going here. Also, um, something to obviously bear in mind, run a clean pod while you're doing this. You don't want to, you're caught in a bubble, you will get podded. So you, there's no point in flying a uh, flashy, flashy pod, like your training pod or something, you, you will lose it. So I've jumped in, I jumped into a clean pod before doing this, so only lost the thrasher and nothing else. Um, and interceptors are surprisingly cheap. This fit in Amar was a bit more expensive, but um, you can see from the um, you know 39 swap these in, it goes up to maybe 45 million. So still not bad. It's just a skill barrier that um, that becomes a problem. So I took a bit of a risk there and have gone directly to the station. That's probably a mistake. I should have gone left or right of it again for the same reason um, as before. Would it have been possible? Yeah, so I should have come down to one of these because someone could sit off off the station and put a bubble over there. Wow. Alrighty, we've made it here. <laughs> Let's see if we can now start the arc properly. Comes to Hikate is probably doing the same thing. Agents, here we go. Here's our epic arc agent. Start conversation. Uh, I need to report to, there we go, objective. Report to Abdil Varat. So we will report to, uh, and that other one completed automatically when we did that and we got paid. So, new opportunities. I look out for talented people such as you who are interested in work and times have certainly made our work interesting. Since you are an egger, Presumably that's a, someone fresh out of an egg, maybe, you're new. Since you're an egger, I'm guessing you know your way around wormholes. Oh, Capsulea, that's going to be. Yes, I do, in fact, I live in wormholes. While they've been a great aid for our scientists, they've also brought some problems to our doorstop. Doorstep, doorstop. Some of which is not good for business. Our explorers have discovered a wormhole in a nearby system, but we cannot spare the manpower to lock it down. If you help us out by scouting the area, then I may have other more lucrative tasks to follow. There's some phrasing in here um, which is quite important to know whether or not you're going to complete the mission. So um, help us out by scouting the area and in the objective recon the wormhole site. Um, that all points to not having to shoot anything. That's just um, go and have a look and leave normally. Uh, obviously pay attention to the mission objectives as you go along, but that's almost definitely what that is. Um, either way, though, we will 
reship just in case we want to shoot something. We will we will um, uh, refit what we're doing. There we go. Uh, da -da. Oh yeah, that's stupid. I I filled up my cargo hold such that I can't actually swap anything around. So uh, let's go item hanger and then I should be able to start doing things in here du, 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 du. ballistic control system load up with some rage um, and then I want uh, that's the wrong thing then I want uh, these to go in here so I don't forget them and I will leave some of them behind so that I can put everything in there hopefully oh it's the cloaks the problem okay cloak we'll leave behind because it's massive I actually can't carry it not on my ship so we'll just need to bear that in mind when we move around cloak is a hundred meters cubed and I only have uh, 98 meters cubed of cargo so the cloak can uh, w if we move between stations we have to have the cloak on otherwise we have to leave it behind so let's uh, uh, this is in the same system as we're currently in let me uh, open this up no it's not we're in oh okay I've already set destination so we've got a couple of jumps to go um, ah sorry so we've got a couple of jumps to go <laughs> so I need my travel fit still on um, so that I can uh, get there and back safely uh, you guys come in here and hopefully there's a station in system where we can refit item hanger you on there uh, I still want you to come with me there we go uh, last one the inertial stabilizer there we go okay so let's go uh, we're traveling so there's still potential gate camps but it's a recall mission so I'm gonna when we get there I'm gonna risk just running in and um, uh, running in and without my weapon system and just seeing what happens I can always come out refit and, and try again alright it's over there so let's go Warp drive active. Uh, yeah that should allow me to change the change the angle so recon the obje the wormhole site for the cartel uh, not bad reward 4 million for this which is nice uh, we've got 6 hours for the bonus one and then a little bit of lore about wormholes and the angel cartel's involvement in them and over here you've got the next stage in your mission so at the moment we need to travel to EWTAC JR5 no one in this system so I'm going to walk directly to the gate save myself a couple of seconds and then we're in this system we can walk directly to the dead space because no one else will be able to be there the only way they can find it is by combat probing you in that dead space pocket so as I mentioned, there there isn't a station for me to be able to refit to a travel fit in here. So let's hope that the recon mission is all it is. You need to activate the acceleration gate. Okay. Activate. Read. There we go. 
So let's just quickly warp to star so we're not getting shot. But it looks like the Sancho have beaten us to the site. I suggest we return to Abdi El Varat immediately. So you can shoot them. You can get some bounty for it. You don't have to. So we need to travel to KTAC Q, set destination. Because objective's complete. And it wants me to come talk to me when you finish your current mission. So we can't complete this one remotely. We need to go back and talk to her That's in right. person. See the effect of standing there, minus 6.5, it's pretty poor. But he's still able to do a level 3 security mission uh, because of the link to the angels, which is nice. Again, on a local, so we'll warp straight back. I haven't run missions for a long time. I think I think since before the the air career program was implemented. So um, I might get a few air rewards for running this because there'll be a mission tree in there. Let's dock. But that's definitely something we need to recognise, right? Not all st not all systems have structures in them. So depending on our risk level, we can sort of take the travel fit over uh, if there's no station then find the nearest station travel fit over there and then and then refit and hope for the best or we refit here when we accept the mission um, and go over but you know that's not that's a bit riskier so we'll complete that mission because we're done uh, Sancha all right let me relay this information up the chain of command stick around we'll be calling on you to deal with this so you could just stop here and now go off and do something else, and it wouldn't wouldn't matter. Um, but let's uh, let's just see what that first one did for standings gain with Angel Cartel. Uh, no standing change on that first mission. It will all pop up down here. Um, yeah. So let's request the second mission. What do we got? Fight or flight? That sounds like we have a choice. At the moment, I have more work than I have people, so you need to choose how you want to proceed. We have a also we also have a shipment of important research material that needs to make it to Serpentis' hands, another pirate faction. The inquest scientists in charge of this operation have been delayed, and moving the goods is a high priority task. We need someone to take over. We may also require an investigation into the reasons for the delay at the Serpentis' end. Both tasks need to be followed up. I don't care what you choose we'll give one to you one to the next egger brave or stupid enough to show up down here so th this is where we sort of would choose um which which way we go obviously the sancho need to be cleared from our wormhole site if you can prove yourself on this chances are i'll be able to request more assignments to give you we have early reports of more problems abroad so i'm sure we can keep you moving from target to target out there so that's sounds like it's going to be combat focused um, possibly against the Sancha. Um, so Pentis fill in. Perhaps it's not worth the trouble to take down the Sancha encampment. They might have already gone in and destabilized the wormhole. We play by risk and reward and the reward here looks it'll be too low. There's a high priority shipment that has been sitting around waiting for someone capable enough to move it. It's headed to the Serpentis research facilities in Fountain but Sapati's crew is going to handle moving it from Curse over to the headquarters. Okay good. <laughs> Didn't want to go to Fountain. They were supposed to take it directly from this station, but we've lost contact with the research team in charge of that operation. The job is yours if you want it. All you need to do is get it to the nearby Serpentis Corp transport hub. From there, they'll handle the rest. The cargo is small, so you can f easily fit it inside an interceptor or cobops. Um, so that's going to be this first. The trouble here is I would choose to do a, a courier mission just because I can stay in my travel fit. Um, so the first uh, mission here sounds like it's a courier mission, and this is going to be a security mission with combat. But the paths here aren't just one mission that you're choosing. It's a path of sort of two or three missions um, that, again, you can you can look up on Eve Wiki. So Serpentis Fill-In takes you down the Heaven route, which is these one, two, three, four, five, six, and... Natural Consequences takes you down the Utopia route, which is another six. 
and of course uh, these uh, some of these are um, combat missions uh, regardless uh, and so same if I go down to clear the way of course on natural consequences also security so um, not much to choose here you can kind of just take your pick go through the Eve wikis page and just have a look around um, but we will we will go um, Serpentis fill in what size is that just in attributes two meters cubed yeah so we can definitely carry that um, down to MDD tack which is three jumps um, and it pays quite well or natural consequences somehow goes to a different system but it's only one jump away um, ah I'm gonna go with natural consequences why not let's accept this choice and we will travel to AAM and it says all right you want to pursue this answer that works for me once you've dealt with them report back I'll keep my comms open and we've got to eliminate the Sancho blockade and claim the wormhole for the cartel so we're going one jump here so I am going to risk the refit in here so um, let's do just that take you off put you in there rockets uh, load rage and oh I didn't mean to bring you with us okay that's the full full refit and now we're going to go and do a security mission natural consequences there is a battle cruiser in this site, which is actually eventually the um, the trigger for completing the mission. So let's see how we get on in terms of DPS and being able to kill it. Um, it should be fine. Uh, interceptors are capable of completing these sites, and I have got decent skills. Uh, missiles, I think, are maxed out. Are they for small missiles? I'm not 100% sure. Let's have a quick look. Um, missiles. No, so my light missile specialization isn't maxed. But, you know, uh, we've got pretty... Oh, it's rocket, actually. We're on rockets. Rocket specialization isn't maxed, but pretty strong. So let's take the gate and start killing stuff. Probably going to start by orbiting this and seeing where that leaves us. What's the range of my rockets? Only 13 kilometers. Uh, slaver. Plague. So we get within 13 and then start shooting. The 13 kilometer range is a bit of a problem. Maybe orbiting this might not be good enough. I might have to get up close to some of these little things because they're going to try and pull range. I am not used to flying um, interceptors at all. The uh, <laughs> the speed is a little bit of a challenge for me. I can't really pay attention and, and move that quickly. Um, but let's see how we go. I'm just going to keep an eye on that my cap I think is not stable okay so now we wait we need to I need to approach the acidic cloud which is the wormhole okay now we've got two cruisers so let's orbit that one 
and start shooting. How's our damage on him? Not bad. If things get hairy, just start burning away. Um, they're never going to catch up to you. So, yeah. And we've got a tiny, we're really small, quite a small signature. So without the NWD on, we're pretty difficult to hit, especially for the bigger things. Um, so just getting close and orbit and we should be fine. But again, as said, if, if things start getting hairy with the shield, then, then uh, burn out, warp out. There should be no scrams. Um, actually, there, there is a disruptor in the final wave with the battle cruiser, but it's a disruptor, so again, should be able to burn away. I'm the only person in system, otherwise you would see me descanning, keeping an eye out for um, um, combat scanner probes. The only way people can find us in here is with combat scanner probes, but you are not completely safe because of the existence of those things. So he should be dead, so let's do one pulse of this to get close to this one. Start firing. I wasn't really sure how much um, <clears throat> ammo to bring for to run these missions because I don't want to have to run back out to market to um, to complete the the whole epic arc. So I brought quite a lot with me. Um, we'll see how it is in terms of <clears throat> whether it's enough though, because uh, it's we're going through quite a lot just taking down a few ships here, and the battle cruiser I imagine is going to be quite time consuming and ammo heavy to kill. So we'll see how we get on. Have I gone the correct route with explosive? Um, no. <laughs> ah, because it's Sancha, of course. Um, I was foolish and picked my damage based on the fact that these were angel missions, but we're, we're flying for angel, um, not against angel. Uh, so I've got explosive thinking, angel, that's what I need to need to deal uh, but that was a mistake um, this first mission that we've gone for is Sancha so you want to be dealing EM damage so um, actually bringing a bit of a spectrum of damage types would be the way forward here so learnings for next time so I can run it more efficiently And also for tanking, right, the, um, I did, uh, I, d I thought about it for tanking, but then not for the actual da damage type. So the rig I've got um, is the EM reinforcer, so it fills the EM hold, the hole, sorry, and then I'm running a multi-spec shield hardener as well, um, which obviously helps plug all of them. So I end up with pretty good Omni resists, um, but I haven't done the same thing with my damage type, which was silly. I mean, I could fly around scooping the wrecks while we're here as well, but um, don't really feel like it. The loot in them will be rubbish, so. reason why I've chosen uh, the Angel, by the way, um, <coughs> Epic Arc instead of the Garisa's Epic Arc is because I am Kaldari. Um, this character is Kaldari, but not only that, um, like I don't roleplay it or anything, but if I want to go and run security missions, um, it's Kaldari that I go and do that with because of my standings. And you want to keep decent standings if you're going to go and trade in Jita. Um, and, you know, this is the character, Ward is the guy that goes to market and sells stuff. So um, I don't want to negatively impact my standings with Kaldari. Supervisor's already here. So I'm going to go for him straight away. 
Uh, this is the guy that walk disrupts, though, so um, just keep an eye on, again, keep an eye on your damage, and if you are disrupted and there's too much incoming, then maybe kill that one, and then you can warp out. Um, what was I saying, though, sorry? The, um, yes, I don't want to negatively affect my standings with... Uh, Kaldari for my trading and for my potential to mission run. Um, th through the Epic Arcs you do lose some standing with different factions, so through the Angel one apparently we do lose minor standing with Garistas, which is kind of fine, uh, but you also will lose standing with Minmatar space. I already have negative standing with Minmatar because of my affiliation with Kaldari and Amar, so that's fine. Um, but yeah, that's the reason I'm not running the Garistas Epic Arc. What I what I will be doing though is looking. Oh blimey, it's uh, really picking up in terms of the uh, number of ships that are going to be shooting us in here. But actually, none of them are disrupting. So we'll just see how we go. See if we can kill him faster than they can kill us. At the moment, the answer is probably no, but we'll see. Um. Exactly. It's uh, interesting that it hasn't told us what the thing to clear is in game. Um, I'm rel relying on it being this guy, um, but definitely might not be. Although he is the Sancho supervisor. The um, cruiser's got enough range now, by the way, that us orbiting at close range like this on another ship doesn't uh, means our angular velocity isn't particularly high for him, so he can track relatively well. Um, so that's why our incoming DPS has gone up a bit, because the cruiser is now able to hit us from out there. Okay, just the hull to go. What if I hit that quickly, just to build up a bit of angular from all of them just reduce the incoming that little bit while we go through the hull uh, it does appear to armor rep uh, and of course I'm still doing <laughs> explosive damage which was the worst choice um, but at structure they have no resists but the armor rep kicks in and then obviously some resists come with it um, yes, so that is finished. I will have a quick look inside his, that wreck, but I expect there is nothing. I'm not going to bother killing everything else. But have a look inside. Alright, we've gone too far. I'm not going to, not going to bother looking inside. Uh, let's see if we can complete remotely. We can, okay. Uh, so, complete remotely. That's done. Um, What's the outcome here? Nice flying, what ender ass? I'm sh be sure to include your name in the report. I'm ordering our exploration team to go in right now. They'll see if it links up to any systems near Fountain. Um, if I, can I request mission remotely? Yes, you can. You can request and accept remotely. So this is nice. Um, let's just keep pulling range from these guys. Clear the way. Okay, the exploration team is away. If the Serpentis eggheads are right, they should arrive in Fountain securely and, record, and in record time. Speak of the devil, I'm getting a report that one of our shipments coming back from Fountain just got hit by Garistas. It's always something. There's a salvage crew nearby that can pick up the tech, but they aren't equipped to handle Garistas. If you clear out the Garistas, I can send in the recovery team. As always, you'll be well paid. So we are going two jumps. There is a station here, so we can refit to um, travel fit, which we are going to do. And we've only got 15 minutes till uh, cluster shutdown, so we'll see if we can get this one done and then um, then see where we are. So we're going to fit to travel fit, drive off the Garistas Raiders. Which is another security mission. Docking request accepted.
So let's minimize that. So obviously we left our cloak behind, but the cloak was just, um, that was kind of for just in case. Um, actually, do I need to check what's at the other end? I can do this, can't I? Show info, stations. There is a station in there that I can refit to again. So if you want to know whether you can refit on arrival, you can check the inf uh, system information and, and, re and do that. So now let's minimize you. Can I? And the important one, the inertial stabilizers. Okay. Let's accept. And we're on our way. Travel to YKE4 TAC 3. So that first security mission took a little bit longer than I expected, to be honest. Um, the DPS needed to get through the cruisers and battle cruisers. Obviously, we had enough, but it just took quite a long time. Um, people in local, so we're being sensible. Where is the gate we're jumping? Up there. So. Uh, yeah, so took a little bit longer than I was expecting. Hopefully there isn't quite so much to kill in some of the um, these next missions so that we can go a little bit faster. This next one looks okay. Um, just some frigates and destroyers. So we should be able to get through it nice and quickly. But yeah. And as always, of course, you can trade safety for speed. So, you know, uh, as we land, we find out that it was unnecessary to do that bounce but you can't know that until you do it so you can take the risk use your interdiction nullifier as you're warping to stop the bubble catching you um, but I'm going safety over risk at the moment and so same with the travel fit thing you know we didn't actually have to fit the travel fit to get here and now we've got to spend time warping to station docking up refitting um, in which time we could be just doing the mission but safety first. We'll see if I still think that in an hour's time, um, of course. Okay, 12 minutes left before downtime. We're going to run this one and then come back after downtime. Docking request accepted. The other person in the system is docked currently. There was one guest in that station. Uh, so that prospect... Oh no, I was the guest. Okay, that prospect is... Um, this guy is probably gas huffing. Right, we're in warp. I could split these, but I'm going to keep them grouped. Um, I don't think my DPS is high enough to need to split them. Okay, activate the acceleration gate, and then I think it's just clear everything. Destroy all enemies in the vicinity. The angel sent us a present, how sweet, everyone on the capsule here. That's interesting that they already have an angel wreck here that w that is lootable. So I might loot that while I'm here, just see what's going on inside. so fast <laughs> I just don't know how to how to, to do to deal with going that fast and 
that's the end of the destroyer. Quite a bit harder getting through these guys. So for the Garistas, you want to be dealing explosive damage, um, but the sorry, you want to be dealing kinetic damage, but the explosive damage isn't as bad as it was. Um, it's the EM now that you don't want to be dealing. Having just fought the Sanchez with EM, you now don't want to be using EM. So you want to be kinetic. So this is why you absolutely need a spread of damage. We get close to that. Can we have a look inside? Nothing worth picking up. The elite frigates take a while to kill as well, then, don't they? Blimey. Nearly there. frigates these are regular frigates so hopefully quite quick everything's staying at quite close range because these are just short ranged um, pilots I don't know why he's that's not targeted me but so I just orbit the one I'm gonna tackle last when everything stays at close range like this eight minutes to shut down so we should be fine because I think that's the last wave no there's one more wave, one more wave, sorry and so let's orbit that one get further away we'll go for them first I don't know why two of the destroyers haven't targeted me there we go not complaining because it keeps the incoming DPS down of course but uh, it does mean that you can drift away from them because they're not trying to shoot you <laughs> Last one, and that should be this mission done. Mission done. So I believe this one we can also complete and um, start the next one remotely. So let's start conversation. Complete remotely. You're proving yourself to be a valuable asset to the Angel Cartel. As a law-abiding citizen, I don't know if I'm proud of that or not. Um, I probably won't start it now, but I'm just going to have a quick look at what the next mission is. Um, salvage Heist. Okay, so this might be a quick one. Our biggest competition in the Tech 3 race is not the Garistas or the Sancha Hell. Hell, it's not even the Empires. It's your kind. Capsuleers. I'll admit you guys have been giving us a run for our money. You're uniquely suited to wormhole space. Thankfully, a few of you have been less than careful in normal space. So, uh, yep, Tech 3. I, as mentioned, I live in Wormhole Space and I build Tech 3, so you're not wrong, uh, Ab Abdeel. There's a capsuleer named Renton that makes his home nearby. We know he's been exploring Wormhole Space and he's likely been stockpiling sleeper tech at this base. He's only been a minor nuisance so far, but his tech cache could be useful. We would do the raid ourselves, but it's more effective to have capsuleers take care of each other, much less bloodshed. Find Renton's base, eliminate him, I'll be able to send an, another recovery team once you've wiped out all hostiles. So we're heading to Utopia to fight another Capsuleer. 
Uh, three jumps, so I will travel fit it. So let's get docked again. Swap to our travel fit. And then log off before making the journey after downtime. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. So, simple fit change. Uh, I guess, do I have time, if I'm quick here, to make it to Utopia? That would be nice. I guess the other thing to check, of course, which I didn't... There are stations in Utopia. So we are going to Utopia now. We've got three minutes. We should be able to do that. Get docked up and then ready to go. Just me and System. The prospect left. Probably didn't like the look of an interceptor on D-Scan. Can't say I blame him, but just mission running pal. system so yeah let's oh, see this is one of the ones where I mentioned the gate is miles away from anything else we are still okay to change the angle because of these planets but if it was all just clustered here then it's difficult um, just while we're heading towards shutdown doing this journey the other thing I just want to mention because some of you probably are wondering why I didn't um, didn't even bother shooting the guys in my thrasher at the gate camp um, that's because my initial plan was to, um, of course, to crash back to the gate, and I didn't want um, to pick up uh, the gate timer. So if you aggress another capsule here on um, in system, you can't use gates for like 20 seconds or something. I can't remember the exact timer. So I didn't want to trigger that timer to then splash the gate. When it became inevitable, um, I wasn't going to make the gate. I could, of course, started shooting, but by that point. That there was nothing I would have been able to do. Um, the, you know, so I kind of didn't bother. But sh I could have started shooting. But the initial thinking was um, uh, maybe I can make gate, and then I then I don't need to. Or then I then I really shouldn't actually, as opposed to don't need to. Okay, last minute, one more jump. Again, a couple of people in system, and the station, the gate is 30 odd kilometers away, AU away, so I couldn't scan it. Turns out it's fine, but um, let's go. Uh, quick. There's a lot of named systems in Curse. So we're in Hemin now, as Utopia. There was that, I can't remember what it's called now, but the first system we landed in when we entered Curse. Yeah, there's a, a lot of name systems. Unusual for Nalsec. Okay. Uh, this time we will risk it. Because why would they bubble a random one? We've got 15 seconds to get there before we disconnected. So yeah, basically we'll dock up. And I'll see you guys after downtime when we'll refit and carry on. Catch you in a bit. Okay, downtime done. Let's uh, get back to what we were doing. So, oops. Let's go kill a fake capsuleer. So it looks like again he's in a battle cruiser. Um, there's a couple of ways of doing this. We're going to try and blitz it. Uh, 
we have not accepted the mission. So I should be able to go in here and get it this way. Um, start conversation. There we go. Accept remotely. Walks location. We ultimately need to just kill Renton, so we should be able to kind of blitz it, and that we'll do that by just focusing them. Um, everything else we'll just try and tank, but we'll see how we get on. If we start getting a bit low, then we'll warp out, warp back in, and change our approach. Um, there is a stasis tower that we might get rid of, for example. Um, whoever you are, leave. If you aren't blue, then your target practice. Uh, two cruise missiles. I don't think we were expecting two cruise missile batteries. So that's uh, that's an interesting one. But there is a stasis tower, so I, I'm, I might get rid of the stasis tower before anything else, just so that um, I'm not the slowest person in existence. Let's see how we go. So. Renton, we are orbiting, kill my MWD now that we're in close, because the web is doing a good job at 60% or so, and right now let's see how we get on with the Drake. There is supposed to be, as you shoot him, you trigger another wave, and as you get into the armor, you trigger, trigger another wave as well. Uh, looks like we're struggling because of the time it's taking so I'm going to swap to the cruise missile batteries for a second get rid of that DPS are they I don't know why we're being shot by angel cruise missile batteries he's got rep so that's fun as well We're doing a mission for the Angel Cartel. Why are they? Why are the Angels? Cruise missiles shooting us. Maybe he's hacked in. He's gone into an Angel site, hacked in, and uh, turned the tables. Uh, this guy is disrupting us, so we will go for them after we finish this cruise missile battery, so that we have the option to get away if we want to. And I'm just staying as close as possible to uh, Renton to reduce the incoming damage from from them. It's got some Evermarks, that's nice. Someone's entered local, so we will uh, <coughs> we will keep an eye on that. Let's get rid of the other cruise missile battery as well. Actually the wreckers are doing quite a lot of damage, so they they should die quickly. So if we go for a wrecker they should we should be able to remove that DPS nice and quickly. And then then we'll see how we go. One gone. So blitzing for me in this fit wasn't an option really I don't think like you know we've been here quite a long time maybe we could have worked our way through him but I'm not so sure wouldn't have been confident anyway uh, let's go back to Renton now because we're at 40 42 percent we'll just keep an eye on that if we drop down to sort of 30 ish then uh, but we should hold here now. No combat probes. Taylor Sharp has just left. Borg. Is that an Ares? Probably might, might be mission running. Okay, we break through the shield, 
should start going down a little bit faster but um, obviously it's got reps our tank is now held completely so we've got no concerns <clears throat> another wave was supposed to spawn when you tag the armor but that hasn't happened yet so we'll see ah here we go why aren't you dead from gith from a gaff turning up in local and two more have form, uh, formed up and they are jammers which is um, annoying we're going to stay on gaff for the time being but we might suddenly lose lock on them uh, because of the signal jamming like that so while we are jammed we will shoot the jammer annoyingly gaff is going to um, repair himself now the jammers out so we can just go back to shooting Gath Renton but we've got half a shield back at that time which is a bit frustrating it set, does say you need to destroy all enemies in the vicinity so we'll test the option as to whether or not we can just kill Gath um, We've left one other frigate here, so if it, if blitzing by killing Gath wasn't uh, Renton was an option, then it, it will allow us to complete with that one still on the field. But if it if it's not, then we'll know. What damage type for for this, by the way? Uh, kinetic, explosive, still not terrible, but could be a lot better. Kinetic would be the fight here. Nearly there. Another wave, okay. Okay, yeah, as the fireball dies down, Renton's pod is already warping out. He is unlikely to return anytime soon. But we can start the conversation without killing everything else. So that's complete remotely. Lovely. Rabbit trap. Excellent work. I'll have my men sort through Renton's hall. There's a lesson in there about complacency for you, what ender ass. I never get complacent. Please. There's always some good law, by the way. Okay, <clears throat> we can request this one rem remotely and accept it remotely as well, so that's nice. And our first faction module Domination Target Painter. Um, Rabbit Trap, all, all that's left to do is transport the tech you've helped us collect back up to Fountain. No, we're not asking you to haul. We've got a crew for that. Your job is more exciting. We know there are Garistas still in the area, possibly with their Sancho pals. They want these parts badly enough to do their raiding in our territory, so we decided to use their eagerness against them. We let the details leak about the timing of this shipment. We think they'll be ambushing a defenseless industrial. What they're going to find is you. Kill every vessel that shows up. So another security mission, this time in AAM which is four jumps, so we're definitely going to refit and head to AAM. And it looks like, sounds like they're sending out the transport as bait and then we're going to kill everything. Domination Target Painter will be nice. Um, there's a couple of faction rewards throughout this series and this is a pretty nice one. Ordinarily, they'd be quite valuable on the market, but I would guess, I have, without checking, I would guess that um, at the moment they'll be slightly cheaper than normal because of the increased number of people running these missions. So if you do want to just get it and sell it, um, probably better off holding on to it for a little bit of time for the market to rebalance after um, uh, after this period is over. Oh, not misclicking everywhere. Come back out. There we go. I need to click that box. Inertial tabs, which I forgot last time. And let's head to AAM. No one in local, so we're going to warp directly. Let's go. So the agent standings are increasing significantly, you can see by 0 
every mission. Sanch has decreased a teeny tiny bit so far. One other standing affected. What's the other standing? Does it tell us? No. But Abdiel's a big fan now at four already. I guess we can find out what... Um, she's part of Archangels. So that will be the other faction. Uh, no one in local, so we can go directly. So if we can find uh, Arc Angels, there we go. We have positive stuff with them at the moment. It was it was a bit negative because I've been killing stuff, but then pretty big standing increases, generally speaking, except for one mission. But none with the Angel Cartel yet one person in local so let's be sensible Bob drive active I've done it. I've clearly done it. I'm going to mention this again at the end of the video, but I've done this in a sort of fo form of a sort of a let's play. <clears throat> it's my first kind of time doing a full play along. I think it's better suited for streaming, but um, I wanted to wanted to give it a go for the epic arc. For those of you that have stuck with it and are watching all the way through, um, and are obviously listening to me now. Uh, let me know in the comments how you feel about this kind of thing. Um, could run a few more epic arcs uh, taking this approach. Busy local. Um, but want to know if it's what people enjoy watching. Um, because, yeah, I mean... I've, I've enjoyed doing it. Um, it's a lot of fun, but obviously I, fe I feel I need to talk throughout. Um, which, if I wasn't doing it in this style, I'd just play quietly and edit edit the uh, video down to some small action sections but yeah let me let me know what you think and if you want to see more of this kind of stuff um, or whether it's just been um, a bit bit much and you've uh, you've jumped around and just focused on the important bits and of course big help if you can like the video um, subscribe to the channel if you like the content not going to ask you to subscribe if you don't like it um, but yeah if you do like the content please subscribe um, you get more like this but yeah uh, really interested to know if this is a format you enjoy so we are in AAM did I not accept the mission I did not so let's go So because the um, mission reward for this one is an item, we're almost definitely going to have to head back to the agent to complete it. I have walked in prematurely because I'm travel fit, so that was a close one. Would have been difficult to kill things with no weapon system. But yeah, when we, when we finish this mission, uh, it's an item, so yeah, we'll have to go back to the agent. To, to successfully complete that. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. But you can already see, because uh, I've not died yet to a gate camp other than that initial one, since I've been running missions there hasn't been a gate camp, I'm already tempted, of course, to speed things up and stop uh, refitting to my travel fit all the time. But I'm going to do my best not to, because we all know that the the um, second I do that, I will uh, die. The, I will come across one, and that will be that. But it is tempting. Well, this is taking slightly longer than I had anticipated, and uh, it's definitely tempting. Well, lots of signatures in here. Bob 
So I believe we're just killing everything in this one. Welcome from the convoy. It's good to see you, pilot. Abdiel informed us about your arrival. We've only got a few minutes until we depart. Looks like this will go off without incident. Let's head towards the convoy. An ambush, incoming hostiles. So let's uh, look at my ship again and then head over to said hostiles and just start killing. Uh, do I need to read this? I don't think so. I'm not sure why that hasn't updated. We're just going to kill everything because I'm pretty sure that's what we were supposed to do. Uh, so wait for stuff to come in range and we can start shooting it. Can't remember who I'm orbiting. Shoot you. Orbiting this one, which is last already. It's pretty high incoming damage. Um, so if you wanted to reduce that, uh, of course you could come in at a different angle, but uh, you go after the destroyers first would help to to keep the incoming DPS down. Destroyer DPS is big. Um, you can see we're taking quite a lot of damage. They're going to pull a bit too much distance, I think. So we'll have to kill this one and then move over to the one that's getting further away. Yep, too far. Kill this one, head down there. Still says read details. Yeah, strange. But basically, just eliminate any attackers that show their face. So we're just going to kill everything. Okay. This time we are going to go destroyers first if we can, because of the incoming DPS. So let's take them out spoiler for the jamming and we'll just keep an eye on our shield as we go come on shoot if the despoiler lands a successful jam I'm gonna leave immediately and let's go you now did land a successful jam so, I know I said I was going to leave immediately, but um, I reduced the incoming DPS, so I'm a bit happier now. So let's keep going. Okay. Final wave uh, is a named rat with scram. So. <laughs> Let's see how that goes. Actually, it's a disrupt, so I can still use my MWD. Someone's entered local. So watch D scan. Okay, we should be able to wrap a little bit of shield while we reload, and now we should have no problems with the named rat that spawns. Kiro Demens. I'm tired of your interference, Egger. Time to die. I wonder what an Egger is. If anyone knows, drop a comment, because uh, I'm curious. 
Okay, this person is going to be difficult to kill. High resists with a million bounty on a frigate. Uh, but I don't think it's just going to be a case of wearing each other down and, and we'll get there first. What are the resists on the other sections? Once we break the shield, it should be nice and quick because uh, there should be less armor. What does it say about young of the one of the younger? Commanders in the Garista fleet. Ikiro Demens has proven himself capable and aggressive. He and his wingmen are known for their daring raids into state space as well as their constant harassment of Concord and other peace forces. That's brave. Lately, he's been leading raids on the Angel Cartel and Serpentis in Fountain, becoming quite a thorn in the side of two larger criminal factions. As yet, he hasn't drawn any special attention, but it won't be long until his powerful enemies do something about him. So he's come up against us. Problem, of course. Problem for every non capsuleer when they come up against us. I would say, I'd like to say a problem for capsuleers as well, but anyone who's watched my channel will know that's not true. Nearly through the shield, and then hopefully this will move a lot quicker. reload though which is a pain. So that is quite a lot of ammo. We've gone through nearly 2,000 missiles already. We're probably approaching halfway through the mission chain. Target eliminated. Good work pilot. Our skies are clear. We'll be seeing you on the other side. Then we need to travel to KTAC Q. It's one jump, so <clears throat> everything I said goes out the window, and it's one jump, and I'm taking the risk. complete it and get our first faction item domination target painter which I'm obviously not going to bring with me on the ship until we leave this area the loot is staying in station no point just giving that away Crusader doing the same thing I would imagine uh, start conversation Complete mission. Even had a Capsuleer show up, eh? Good. Nice to have a survivor to spread the story of their utter defeat. You've done amazing work for us and the angels take notice of their friends. In fact, there's someone in the Dominations asking for you. Let me know if you want to go ahead and arrange the meeting. So we might have to meet with a Domination. Here's the Domination target painter. Estimated value 50 million down here at the moment. Uh, let me just quickly throw it into Janice and we'll see what Jita is saying. Uh, Jita's split is currently at 41, sell value 44 million. So that's not still not bad. Um, so yeah, that on its own probably makes <laughs> makes these worth running, and that's not the only thing we will get as we go through this. So let's request mission. Dominus, you've attracted the attention of Cadeja Dulce one of the most important people in the Dominations. If he has a mission for you, the odds are good you'll be shooting some important people. You best get going. I'd thank you for the assistance you provided, but an invitation to a meeting with a Domination agent says more than any words of mine will. So we've impressed them, and we're moving into their um, elite faction. 
So here we are. Look, the Dominations represent the command division of the Angel Cartel. They're elusive and mysterious, preferring to shroud their agendas in secrecy and obfuscation. So if you come across um, Domination rights, rats when you're fighting Angel, they are, they are the main ones. Uh, this is in system, so that's nice. So we will accept. We will undock, and then they. We will go and head out to. KTAC Q, which is the system, but presumably is a floating. Uh, oh yeah, there's multiple stations, so it's just a different different station in system. So let's head over there and hope there's no Babylon route again. There isn't. Good. Let's see where we end up. This sh should hopefully get close to marking the end of this chapter, and then we've just got one chapter to go. There's a few, the Aminio and Friendly Raven and things I think are doing the same thing. So, start conversation. Done. Standings with Abdiel increased um, and the Archangels. So, Kadeja Dolce. Is it another cho Oh, it's another choice. Okay. Um, so, we're already on Lesser of the Two. So, that was one mission done. Then we gave Lesser of the Two, and then we move into Chapter Three, which is where the choice happens. And there's not many missions. So we're getting close. We're getting close. So, what Endras? I've been waiting. You've done well for us dealing with the Garista and Sancha. Clashes with other frontier organizations come with the territory. However, and are never that much of a problem. The Archangels are more than capable of handling this aspect of daily operations. It is when other entities begin to stray outside their usual boundaries and establish themselves in our space that we people begin to become rightly concerned. In these situations, we are called in to deal with them. One Mimitar Corporation, Boundless Creations, we know them, has made the mistake of conducting research in our space. They have come here on the misunderstanding that, just because their research is illegal, we will turn a blind eye to their presence. We've not corrected them on this false assumption. Rather, we've let them move in on all of their all of their assets and staff and slowly build themselves up. The time has now come to reveal to them where they truly stand with the cartel. Your mission is to destroy their research facility entirely, costing their interlopers billions. You can go about this whatever way you see fit. You can storm the facility head on or weaken the defences by knocking out their communications array first. By the way, everyone in that place needs to be dealt with. So it sounds like we could go straight in for data destruction um, and just go straight in to taking down the thing head on. But I've been, I wasn't able to blitz a couple of them before, so I think I'm going to go situation normal, take out their communication arrays, and then. then go and do data destruction afterwards. So situation normal. Well, let's have a quick look at data destruction first. Destroy the boundless creations data centers. 10 million. Um, and that's it, no other information. Situation normal. Eliminate the engineers. Use their security codes to silence the communication array. That's the way I'm going to go. Back to AAM, which is a little bit annoying. Oh, it's just one jump, okay. Uh, accept this choice and good luck so how am I currently fit for shooting it right yep. PV someone trying to sell their traffic 250 million is a bit much even for a jackdaw um, was I seriously? Uh, I think I did that last mission without my ballistic control system fit. 
would explain why my DPS was a bit lower. Um, again, it's one jump, so I'm now taking risks. Shouldn't be, but I am. Let's go. Oh. I just realized I didn't even bounce. Definitely taking risks. There is nothing on gate, so we're okay, but definitely taking risks. If I show passive modules, this time I do have it fit. Good. Okay. We have to kill the engineers and pick up the security codes from the cargo container. acceleration gate and then mission should update as we go let's activate hard now because we're killing stuff one cruiser a long way away there's the engineering team you need to destroy their ship to retrieve the security codes okay and there's a container here which is the communications array I locked the wrong bloody thing. Playing well now. <laughs> okay, not much damage. We're doing more damage. We are finally the right damage type. <laughs> Hoped it would come in at some point. But definitely, we definitely learnt a lot ahead of running it. Hopefully a second time much faster. Um, yeah, we definitely need to bring multiple damage types. But this is going pretty well. open this cargo container while we're here let's open the wreck mm, they're worth four four and something million but they're quite big so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pick it up but not bad and then let's place this in here there we go complete remotely lovely Good work. Now for the next step. Can I request remotely? Yes, I can. Breaking the lock. You have little time to waste. The Bounders Creations research base is cut off from its support. It won't be long before they figure out their communications aren't getting through anymore. The base is split into three sections. Each section contains a data center that houses all of... Uh, sorry, I lost myself. All of Bounders Creations illegal research. You must destroy these. Each data center serves as a redundant backup for the others, so it needs to be all or nothing. So we need to destroy all three um, server data centers um, in their facility. Again, it's one jump, so we're just going to do it. Confident the D-Crown isn't, uh, isn't in here. This mission is called Breaking the Lock. So it looks like there's more bounty for doing it this way. They offered 10 million for just going straight into the data centers, but we've been offered 7 million for that first mission and now 7 million for doing the same thing. So um, hopefully, yeah, we just earned another four million in bounty 
for taking that route. Not in bounty, a mission reward, sorry. So it sounds like there's going to be three rooms. We warp into the first. Um, I don't know if we need to kill everything necessarily. Probably will, because it looks like it's just a few destroyers, and so they should die quickly. You are entering Republic territory. Trespassers will not be tolerated. But we need to go after the data center first and foremost. But let's lock that up. I'm going to test it while there's only four and see if we can just kill the data center and not worry about them. Data center one destroyed, the gate is now unlocked. We can. So I guess that's what we're going to do. The gate is locked, there is a... okay. So we can't. It, it lied to us. So let's bring it back in and start shooting everyone over here. So this is um, one of the mission where we take a big Mimitar standing hit. Um, it's like two and a half percent or something, which is not insignificant. So just bear that in mind. It's unavoidable if you want to complete the the arc, but yeah. Okay. Now we can go through the gate. into room two, kill the second one. And the rats, presumably. Where is the data center? Over there, okay. It's a fun looking structure though. of you shoot this thing definitely doing some good work in here aren't they so it turns out that that message is a lie um, what acceleration get unlocked on that instance is not true you have to kill the rats as well Let's just go back to looking at a ship. These destroyers do do some damage. Anyone want for free? So that's the other Eve Uni fit. Um, active tank. Alrighty, on to the next and final room. And then we're getting very close to being finished. center we'll just do one burst this time I believe I should be able to just kill this and leave we should see there you go you need to destroy that I 
mission complete. Cadeja Dolce will be pleased with your wanton violence. And we dot back up. Job done. This uh, was just cash prize, I think, which might mean there's then one mission left, which should result in maybe a, a Cinnable BPC, was it? Docking permission requested. But we should be on to the final mission. So, not too long after all, especially if you bring the right ammo type. Start conversation. Complete mission. We got eight and a half mil for that. Most impressive. When it comes down to it, I find most eggers to be rather disappointing. For immortals, so many of you have pretty petty fears and such trivial concerns. So eggers then are capsuleers. Only a few of you have managed to break free from that. It is those rare few that we in the domination value most. Heading back to Utopia. Fear of angels. Aren't you the lucky one? All the carnage you've inflicted on our enemies has caught the attention of sorrow. They are the best that Concord has to offer, and they're not to be balked at. This particular sorrow pilot's name is Treonis, and she's been asking for you personally. My guess? Taking you out is her bid at a promotion. Normally we would launch a whole campaign to remove Concord scum from our space, but my superiors want to see you handle this situation. If you can destroy Treonis, I am authorised to reward you with a single run blueprint for one of our rarer ships, the Cinnable. Treonis is waiting for you by an abandoned colony in Utopia. Destroy her, and the blueprint is yours. So we're about to go and fight Concord. Interesting. Um, let's have a quick look at the Cinnable estimated stuff. Uh, 188 million to, to build. And then 221 million for the ship estimated, which means this is about a 30 million blueprint, which is nice. And that's at current estimations, of course. So um, let's do it. How far to Utopia? Uh, we do know there are stations in there, so let's be sensible for the final mission. Don't want to lose now and refit to our travel fit. And when we refit at the other end, we will try and remember all of our modules. Let's go. Last last run. And then we've just got to get our rewards out of Nalsec, which is the, the other fun part, of course. But the main reason we've done this is for the standing boost. So we'll see what impact this has had on our standings overall. Um, we were in a... We we're at minus 6.5 originally. Dominations is, is going up nicely as well. Um, yeah, we were at minus 6.5 when we started, so and we've got to get to minus 2 to be able to side with angels later on. No one in system. Let's go directly. You can see from the bounty risk modifiers, by the way, that um, no one really rats in these systems and there's a lot of death. Default position for bounty risk modifier is 150%. If it's lower than 150%, it means more ratting than combat has taken place. If it's above 150%, then more combat than ratting has taken place. Um, and the, the limit is... Um, 200% so if that pacifier jumps I can just walk directly now let's go um, yeah the limit is 200% so if if a system is up at 197% that means there's a lot of death and destruction and very little people to risking ratting in that system So, 
the interesting thing since we've been running this this morning has been other than the gate camp on the way down there has been no gate camp to run throughout the mission sequence now that doesn't mean there will be none when you come down and do this um, I'm genuinely surprised and it might be because of the time of day I've been running it either side of downtime I fully expected there to be um, and there will be so I'm interested I'm pleased that I've not run into any other than that first one that killed me but yeah just a comment I guess so let's wrong one again always clicking the wrong buttons let's bring you across and take you off put you on put you on load you and we are golden let's do it and so we're just going against it's a 1v1 against um, Marshall Trionis I've no idea how this is going to go I'll, I'll be honest um, I'm expecting to be able to win because it seems like you know this is one of the recommended ships and fits and things but I've not fought a Concorde person before transmission from Trionis I'm surprised you showed up I'd pretend you were under arrest, but we both know you'd resist. I'll just kill you a few dozen times. <laughs> the joys of being a capsuleer, I guess. Turn this on. Someone in local. Let's get over there. How quickly is she moving? He moving, sorry. Trionis was a him in the chat. A thousand. Pretty quick. Okay, what damage? Concord, so uniform. Incoming is primarily kinetic though. But damage for us to deal is uniform. What range do they want to hold? Because they've got us webbed, which means we're going very slowly. Um, so if they wanted to be outside of our range, we would need to use our prop mod. But they're staying within 10, so we should be okay. And we are winning the DPS race at the moment. We have missiles, so they hit always. It just depends on what level they hit at. Whereas they are missing. We have a Sveeple, but again, they haven't combat scanned us. So we'll just keep an eye on that. They're probably running the same mission, to be honest. Because we can warp out of this one. We're only webbed, not scrammed. When they do hit, they hit quite hard, but they're just not hitting very often. They've got two weapon systems, actually. That would be a missile, I guess, some kind of missile. Is that what's hitting me? Yeah. So they've got their kinetic weapon system and then their mi missiles. Let's hope they haven't got great rep because I'm going to need to reload. I don't want them to rep a bunch during that time. This vehicle is gone. That's now lined. 
them up. Does that damage go up at all? No. No real benefit to doing that. Just reduces our transversal. Just uh, in case you're wondering what I was doing there, I hit my prop mod um, because they're obviously set to sort of like orbit or keep at range. So when we turn on our prop mod and start traveling at the same speed, they straighten out. Um, and by doing that, we reduce the overall our transversal between each other. And I wanted to see if my DPS would increase if that happened. The answer is no, but theirs does significantly. Um, so we go back down to uh, just orbiting at, without any prop mod on or anything to keep our transversal higher against them, which then reduces their incoming DPS because they're not flying very sensibly. Slowing us down is supposed to increase their DPS, but ultimately they are reducing it with how they're flying. take a bit of killing. Once we get to structure it should just disappear but they're flying a pacifier as well which is always always nice. I love the pacifier. Oh that's cool I've not noticed that before. I know they've changed the um, explosion uh, graphics and things which now look awesome um, but the ship recoils from the impact of the explosion as well, which is I've not noticed before. I know that's really cool. Yeah, look at it recoiling. It's not. Oh, it is wrapping the shield slightly. Okay. I guess the only thing is it wouldn't recoil right in space. I know this, the um, physics of space aren't necessarily applied. There would be no sound, that kind of stuff. But also, I guess if it hit there, if there wasn't a counterbalancing force, it would just start spinning. But, yeah. I don't know why there are so many rockets coming. I've got four rocket launchers, so I guess there's multiple rockets per launcher in the graphics. And we are nearly done. I do want to look inside this because um there's something in here concord star emblem supposedly worth 10 million i have no idea what that's for uh, but we will find out i guess and then uh, let's head back um the very last one here being foolish and not <laughs> not swapping to my travel fit <laughs> Um, it is foolish, but I'm basically finished, so I just want to go get it finished. What is the info on this? Just may prove valuable if handed in to the proper organization. So, I mean, maybe, maybe you hand it into Concord, but then it, it sort of proves that you've killed one of them. There is a saber. Where is a saber? Close to me. Warp drive active. Or it was close to me. And a worm. Now, oh, the saber is on gate now.
so the saber splashed. I don't have my interdiction nullification, so let's go put it on because right. sabers will have seen me land, and if they do want to try and kill something, they could do it on there. I now I might be able to one v one a saber in this. I actually don't know. It's probably it's possible, but um, they may have friends. So quickly swapping to our travel fit to be sensible and not die at the very very last hurdle uh, look wrong one again always oh, clicking the wrong thing let's go natural stabilizer interdiction nullifier let's go there's no harm in doing that to be honest either the um we want to be travel fit to be able to leave Nullsec again. Um, the main reason I did it was to try and just get us done, and then I would refit um, on the off camera. But let's get there. Let's get it finished. Let's get it wrapped up. Get that Cinnabol BPC. Pick up our Domination Target Painter, and then head home. didn't stick around but definitely better safe than sorry if I get podded I'd have to obviously reship and fly all the way back down here to be able to complete the mission because you can't complete this final one remotely and the standings gain excuse me the standings gain is only from this mission Oh, interesting. Okay, so just had a quick look. Sorry, the um, Concord Star Emblem can be sold to NPCs here. KTAC Q, which station am I in? Domination Assembly, Moon 8 Domination Assembly Plant. So I can't sell it in this specific station, but I can sell it in system to NPC, so that's that's good. We will do that. But first things first, is that Saro pilot Treonis still alive? My superiors are impressed. It's the rare pilot who can take on Saro agents and live. Take this blueprint as a sign of our appreciation, not only for what you've done, but also for what you have become. I'm sure we'll be crossing paths again someday whether you realize it or not. Fly safe, would enter us. Remind the galaxy why they fear angels. So we are finished. My effective standing with this guy jumped to 3.4. Which would be an insane jump. For Angel Cartel. 2.4. Okay, yeah, so we got 5 point, plus 5.4. Um, pos uh, positive change in, in standings so we went from minus three um, it was way lower than that it was minus six wasn't it I'm going to have to go back to the beginning of the video and check but I'm, I thought we were down at like minus six and then we got a 5.4 swing which still would have been enough it would have taken us above minus two but we somehow have ended up at 2.4. Um, I really thought we were at minus 6. So I, either way, not complaining. Um, I've now got positive standing with Angel Cartel. And um, I can now run probably level 2 missions for them if I wanted to. Can't run level 4s, of course. But yeah, I can run level 2 missions for them. Which I do occasionally like to do is pop out and run some missions. Um, 
So, awesome. That's done. That's 5.4. Uh, we can close that. We can pick up our Cinnable Blueprint. Um, and then I'm also going to head to this station where I will just have to leave my cloak because uh, it's way too... Uh, no, I won't. I can put it on my ship. What, you fool? I'll refit my cloak. I'll put the other bits and bobs in station and I think I can sell the Concord Star at this station because it's Archangel's assembly plant. Let's just have a quick look. Uh, moon 4 Archangel Assembly Plant. Yes, so we'll sell the Concord Star here, get another 10 million, and um, and start heading home. So yeah, um, quite a long video, but we demonstrated that we can do the whole epic arc in... What do we got? Uh, un well under two hours. We're maybe at an hour and 45. Um, and it can be done faster, um, especially if you don't die in the beginning. So... That's that's nice. I, I will be running this again in a couple of weeks with my court mates. So if any of you guys are watching, uh, this is what we'll be doing. Um, and yeah, basically, thanks very much for watching, guys. I do really appreciate it. I did say halfway through um, that, but I, that I'd say it again at the end. But this has been a new style of video for me. This is this more of like a let's play. Um, I do quite a lot of long videos, but they're very descriptive and informative normally. Um, this is obviously longer and has been a let's play, so you guys could do it alongside me. Um, if you've enjoyed that, please let me know. It's a it's a different style because um, I've needed to kind of talk all the time whilst playing, which is much closer to streaming. Um, but yeah, if you've if you've enjoyed it, please. Let me know. Drop a comment below. Drop a like on the video. Um, if you'd like to see more like this, um, we can run a couple of the other epic arcs um, in the similar style or find other ways to do a bit of a let's play. Um, but yeah, quickly get out there, fix your standings so you can take part in the content that happens on the 14th of November. You've got until then to get this kind of boost. Um, and Nothing else to say really guys, uh, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Cheers.